If you have a dream and you're not actually taking action towards it, if you're procrastinating, this video is going to reveal the three secrets that maybe you aren't actually conscious of that are holding you back. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter and I am a leadership and empowerment coach who works with individuals as well as organizations to help people create careers that they can love. Now, we really try to produce content to help you find more meaning at work and in life. So if you like the videos, if you take one thing away from them, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content. So if you have a goal and you're procrastinating, you're not actually taking action toward achieving it. You're putting it off, but you want it. Now, I'd ask, do you really want it? And if you don't, take it off your list because it's causing you more stress than it than is going to benefit you. But if this is something that you truly want for yourself, there are three specific things that you might not be conscious of. And the first one is that this thing that you want to achieve may be outside of your identity. It may be outside of your comfort zone. I mean, I almost bet 100% that it is. That's why you're not taking action towards it. So your, your inner self, the self that has been developed over time that has led to your survival and to where you are today, is saying, no, this is dangerous. This is going to destroy me. This is not who I am. I'm uncomfortable with this. And that little voice can override your desire to actually take action. So if you realize that you are just uncomfortable and that this is something that isn't really who you are, it's time to redefine yourself. It's time to start telling, you, to, telling yourself who you are. It's time to start telling the people in your life who you are. So if you're realizing that this person that you are isn't who you want to become, you need to start changing the environment that you are in to better match the person that you want to be. So making new friends or going to new events, um, spending time in new places that relate to your goal, and then talking to people that you meet about what you want to achieve and your passions and your values and how it relates to that goal. Because if your internal dialogue doesn't actually define yourself by what you want to achieve, you're not going to take action towards it because it's going to seem very misaligned. So the second reason you might be procrastinating is because you're afraid of failing. You're afraid of trying something new and not succeeding. Because if you don't succeed, what does that mean about you? Does it reflect poorly on you and negatively on you? So you need to come to terms with the fact that you may not succeed. You may fail. But failure just means that you've learned something to try again. Failure, in a way, is needed for success. So can you come to terms with the fact that you may fail? That while working towards your goal, you're not going to be perfect. While working towards your goal, you're going to have to learn some new things and put yourself on the line and have to deal with the fact that this is going to take some time and it may not be perfect along the way. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I talk a lot about clarity. And so if you're procrastinating, it's also probably because you don't have clarity. You actually don't know what you need to do or how to do it or why you even truly want to do it. So take some time to break down into easy steps that you can take, I mean, day by day, minute by minute, um, something simple that you can just check off that relates to your goal that you're procrastinating towards. So gain some clarity on the action items and on your personal why as it relates to what you want to achieve. And you'll find that you may actually get more and more excited and take some action towards your goal. Okay, so to review, you wanna make sure that you can be comfortable with this new identity that you're going to create. And it's okay that it doesn't relate to who you are now because you have other dreams, you have other goals, just you have things that you want to achieve for yourself that aren't who you are today. So become okay with this new person. Next, you wanna also be okay with the possibility that you're going to fail along the way, that you're not going to be perfect be, because this is something new. This is something that you want to achieve. So understand that failure is just progress towards success. And the third thing that you want to ensure is that you have some clarity, that you understand what you actually need to do and why that matters. If you can connect with that, you'll be more motivated, more engaged, and less likely to actually put things off to the next day, which then becomes the next day, which then becomes the next day. So try it out. Let me know how it goes, leave some comments below. And if you like this video, if you've taken one thing away from it, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content. And most importantly, keep on living for yourself.